Senators Cheryl Lee Ralph and her husband, Pennsylvania Senator Vincent Hughes, are behind a new campaign to increase HIV awareness. The campaign is called Test Together, and it's being launched today to coincide with National HIV Testing Day. Here to share more on the campaign and how you can get involved, please welcome Cheryl Lee Ralph and Senator Vincent Hughes. <laughs> you come here don't you oh you know I love it too yes. I love it if there was ever an audience that made me feel right at home it would be tens audience oh yeah oh, oh yeah they're my, they're my constituents they're, they're my constituents, constituents. yes why they're cheering that, so exactly much. exactly you know usually you come and you, you bring gifts when you come I'm actually wearing one of them that there you brought you last time it's the AIDS awareness it's a diva tank top and I just want to show a little bit there I don't know sorry I'm making the cameraman crazy but this is basically, this is a red ribbon in honor of AIDS awareness testing. That's correct, absolutely. And today, you are a red ribbon diva. Yes, just to let people know that you've got to get tested. And absolutely. that's why you guys are here today. Mm -hmm. We believe that why not get tested? What better way to show your love, show your commitment as a couple, couple than to get tested together? Mm -hmm. This virus does not have to happen. It is 100% preventable but most people do not know their status so what do you have to do you've got to get tested and we're telling couples go on and do it absolutely where are you guys gonna test today 11 o'clock uh -huh. at the love statue 16th and JFK right in front of love all right all right <laughs> trying to send an extra message uh, and we'll be there for an hour the test mobile will be there anyone can come down we're encouraging couples because you got to push the envelope on this conversation to get people interested and engaged in this whole issue. And when you have that conversation, when we've had conversation with other folks about why don't you guys come as a couple, some people stop and think a minute. Well, wait a minute now, okay? But then they eventually come around to it. Absolutely. Most of them. <laughs> people think, they're like, uh oh, wait, I don't know couple? if I want to put a couple, the two of us, why should we get tested together? And we're like, oh, this is not about the virus. This is about your relationship. Right. So there's so many different levels and layers to fighting this whole virus. And that's why we wanted that. We wanted to get the conversation going. We wanted to get people talking about it to get folks in, more engaged in what this issue really is all about. Well, and you've been talking about it for a while. In fact, you've been talking about how it's not just a problem in the United States, but it's worldwide. It is global. In fact, you went to South Africa recently. I most certainly did. You know, in all these years of talking about the disease the rate of infection has never gone down it has only gone up and I said what do we need to do that is different yet again and I'd never heard of anybody putting groups together infected and affected around the world and I took a group from the US to meet with a group in South Africa and it was just an amazing journey We're seeing some of those pictures right now yes. tell us what you found when you went there First of all, women are bearing quite a heavy burden when it comes to this disease. Women around the world are getting infected at rates that are just off the chart and unbelievable. And many women around the world do not have the same sort of voice or access to using their voice and personal power as women might have in America. I met a woman in South Africa who knew that her husband was infected with the virus and she is sleeping with him. And when I said to her simply, you know your husband is infected, why are you sleeping with me? She said to me, because he is my husband. Wow. Mm. My, my heart just went out because she had no power to say no, we, no power to protect herself. Well, that brings up a good point. I mean, there are people that are going to be tested today will find yes. out that one person will have it and the other might not. Exactly. So then are there people on hand? Are guidance counselors going to be there to help oh, yeah. people through this yeah. process? Well, we, have, we have HIV counselors and we have relationship counselors mm -hmm. because if you, cause you'll be able to find out your results within 20 minutes because we're doing the rapid test. So. Yeah, hopefully there's not going to be any issues or any problems. 
But should you find out that there's an issue or problem, it may be an, a need for some counseling right there on the spot. To well, the with. fact that there's a national HIV testing day just yes. speaks to the fact that this is an issue that has just grown in proportion since we first heard about it. Absolutely. About a couple of decades ago. Why do you think people still don't get tested? I, I think that people are afraid. Very often when people refuse to get tested they're afraid of their own past behavior they're afraid that maybe it might be them and I say to a lot of young people who say I, I don't need to get tested I'm like yes you do when the CDC can say that one in four kids across America no matter how old race culture or class is already infected with some sort of sexually transmitted infection that means a whole lot of people are having a whole lot of unprotected sex and they are right in line to contract the disease. We need to change our behavior, change the way we think about this disease, and get tested. Are you, it's a disease that doesn't have to be. Doesn't because have to it's, happen. it's driven by behavior. Right. And people, if they just change their behavior, protect themselves, especially messages to young people, young ladies. You know, if, if, and I'll be frank here, this is 10 in the morning, so I'll be frank. If, if he's not wrapping it up, you don't open it up, okay? Don't you have do to, it. Don't do it. Don't, don't engage do yourself. It. And he has to be responsible, but you have to take control of your situation. And too many young ladies and too many young men are not hearing those kinds of important messages right. that they need to hear. Is this rapid test a first step, too? Because like any test, there can be a false positive. Sure. Somebody right. who tests positive but really isn't. So what happens if somebody tests positive today? We tell people, make sure you get tested again. Sometimes, like you just said, there is that false positive. You follow it up mm -hmm. in a few weeks, get tested again. And for those people who are lost and trying to figure out, well, where do I get tested? If they can't show up at 11 o'clock today, visit testtogether.org. Testtogether.org. Simply put in your zip code, and we will give you a list of places that you can go to get tested, many of them Free. And we actually have those uh, on our website as well, NBC10.com. You can check there. You, um, you have a one-woman play. Yes, I do. About AIDS. And yes. you're actually going to be doing a performance. I will too. be performing in Wilmington, Delaware, tomorrow evening at the Red Affair. At the Rock is it the Rockford Conference Center? I think that's tomorrow at 8 p.m. Are tickets still available to that? Can anybody come? Anybody can come. It is available. It is to help local AIDS organizations and to once again continue to raise awareness and raise the much needed funds to fight this disease. It does not have to happen. And what is your reaction to audiences to, the, to your one woman oh show? Oh my God, it's amazing because very often people come with preconceived notions and then I tell these real women's real stories and they are moved to a whole nother place. I mean, every time I perform, people have such a release about what they thought or come to think about the disease. It's been amazing for me. And it'll Absolutely be amazing, amazing again at the Rockwood Conference Center. That's in Wilmington. I believe yes. we have the information. We can put that up on the screen for you. That's Saturday from 6 to 10. Just a $75 donation. And, and the testing started today at Love Park at 11. How late does that go? How late can you go? We'll be there for an hour. You will? We'll be, we, we will be there for an hour. But again, you just go to testtogether.org. You can find, put in your zip code, and that's locally and nationally. And you can find anywhere that you want to, to get the test. Today is the day. Today is today. today. Is National the day. HIV testing day. Don't put it Show on. your love. Be a couple. Oh, do we get All a right? kiss? Yes. A television kiss? Mm, oh, not. okay. Wonderful. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I love that man. That's I my super that senator. Oh. Well, we love having you guys by. So thank you so much for coming thank by. You. Thank you.